All right. Through a, a very popular request, and I might add over the past year, I would say approximately three to four hundred emails has been about these heads. The reason I haven't went ahead and done this and gave y'all something on it, I've uh, been having to catch up on some things, and I'm just about there. So, um, I guess it's time and right place, right customer, right time. Almost. <laughs> These are the LS3 heads that are taken off of a 2013 Corvette. Uh, casting number 821. And they've been cleaned, disassembled, and uh, they're getting my stage 4 port job. Now to combine it, we've got the uh, new fast LXR 102mm uh, intake manifold, which has the individual runners that can be taken out and ported. I've studied this here pretty good, and uh, there is room for improvement, of course, in the path, and in the radius, and the nozzle. You know, it's just like anything else mass produced, it needs to be gone through. And in order to do this right, we're going to do a few things here. And, and there has been, I've had a lot of emails and I've talked with people who've had the LS1 and LS3, which by the way, we're doing a combo. This, this, this is not just an LS3, we're also doing the LS1 or the um, Cathedral Port. As you can see, this is a raised runner type deal that is similar to a rectangle. Uh, I'll have the LS1 here head up in a day or so to show you, but we're going to do an LS1, LS3, it's going to be in depth and this is going to take place over the next two to three weeks. As I'm doing other cylinder heads right now and concluding them, I'm going to be bringing this into it so it'll be a delay. Like I told you, I was working on a new format where I'm going to be working on several projects at one time but this is our intro to this and I just want to point out some things um, I've been doing this professionally for 25 years this is all I do and way before that I had knowledge of it I'd say 10 years before that I was into the head thing and studied them, read them in magazines, been around it all my life but to watch the evolution come to this point right here, it's just incredible. Basically, I mean, without trying to pin it down exact, what you're looking at here, um, pretty much similar to the 1992-93 18-degree Chevrolet head. What I mean by that is they finally you know, GM has been real slow to keep up with the technology, but getting this deck surface where here's the deck, raising the port up, tilting it, well, that's just everything. That's what race heads have been doing for years, and now finally they're doing this with this. Now, this is the um, 430 horsepower LS3, the Corvette 2013 bet that it came off of, and from my understanding, it's got a bore diameter, I think, around 4.060, something like that. And what I did was I got a hold of Felpro, because the first thing that come to my mind, okay, if these intake manifolds are O-ring, how do you get a gasket on here and a lock to determine how much I want to widen it or shorten it? I'm going to get into that in just a minute, but I just wanted to go over this part and, and let you see me with my introduction. I'm going to tell you, I put a lot of thought into this, uh, many nights, figuring out the math angle of trajectory, what's going to be done, and I'm going to have to say this. I have never seen any of the heads that have so much raw potential that you don't have to do a ton of stuff too to get it to work really good. Um, you know, there's there's quite a bit of porting, of course, I can do to really turn it into something, but not near as much as, as the old school stuff. 
If I had to say there was a defining difference in the heads, it's going to be the horsepower gains that I'm going to get versus the amount of effort that I have to put into it. When you know, when I've been working on stuff for years that had real low elevation angles and had to change bowls and do all this stuff, it was really a delight to work with something that already had so many good engineering qualities to it already. Um, if I had to say one of the things, like I said, that really got me wasn't just the intake, but if we turn this turkey around, look what an exhaust port. I used to do my middle finger test to see how far my middle finger could go down before it touched it. And I mean, uh, 10 or 15 years ago, this was uh, 10 years ago, this was all out high dollar race territory stuff. And you can tell by the height of the head. If you really want to know how awesome a cylinder head could be, there's one area that you can look at, and most people would never guess it, look for the length of the valve. How long is that valve? Because the longer the valve, the taller the head, the higher the uh, elevation angle, the higher the short turn radiuses. Uh, and this right here is just, um, it's awesome. So we're going to be going in here and giving this what for all the way through intake and exhaust and combustion chamber. Then we're going to hop over here and get into this manifold. But um, I guess it's time to go ahead and get to close-ups. So I'm going to separate the two. We're going to put the heads over on the porting bench and lay them out. And then, uh, of course, i got to be real careful with this. Uh, it's a high-dollar intake. We're going to lay out, I'm going to show you all the stuff with the intake manifold. It's really quite amazing how they've done it now, getting to composite, especially with these individual runners and how you can dial them in. But, uh, all right, well, that's it. I just wanted to touch that, show you what we're getting ready to be working on here. Now, let's split her into two sections. First, LS3, the cylinder head scribing what we're going to do, uh, gasket size, dimensional size, and get into some of the highlights of it. All right. 